What's up, Galvaxilla here, and today we're finally gonna learn all about Figma's auto layout. So in previous videos we talked about components, prototyping and plugins and lots of other stuff, but this we only touched the surface. And trust me when I say, this will completely change the way you design in Figma. Now, don't freak out, I'm doing everything I can to make sure this is easy for you, so hopefully we'll feel good about auto layout in Figma after this video. I'm excited, are you excited? Okay, let's do this. So first, what is auto layout? Auto layout is a property you can add to frames, images, layers, icons, buttons, and components. It lets you create designs that grow to feel or shrink to fit and reflow as their content change. It makes your whole design dynamic and responsive. Let's start easy. What you see on my screen is the GIF social media app I've designed and all the layers here, the header, the GIF card, and even the button menu are framed with auto layout applied. So let's start easy with the button menu and later we'll move on to the GIF UI card which is much more complicated. So in order to apply auto layout, I'll select all five icons and click on this plus icon here where it says auto layout. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut Shift A. This lines icon here in the layers panel are a great way to see that this is an auto layout frame. Now let's take a close look at the properties we have in the design panel. First of all, we can decide if you want vertical or horizontal alignment by toggling these arrows. Next, we can set the spacing between the items and the padding around them from left to right and top to bottom. And if we click on this icon, we can set them individually, which is pretty dope. So I'll leave this on horizontal direction and the spacing between the icons are set to 41 pixels. But for the padding, I'll choose 45 pixels from left to right, 16 pixels from the top and 41 from the bottom. What's really cool is that we can also do it with on-screen controls. Now for the alignment, I'm gonna center it in the middle. So if I select this frame and stretch it, you can see that all the icons are set to the middle and they keep the 41 pixel spacing between them. Now let's say I don't want them to keep the spacing between them. Let's say I like them to keep the padding around them. So the home icon and the downloads icon will always be 45 pixels from the right and left side. If you click on the three dots menu, it will open up the advanced settings and under spacing mode, we can select between packed or space between. I'll change it to space between and now if we stretch the frame, the left and right icons will always keep 45 pixels padding from left and right. Okay, let's keep going and see more options. What's cool about auto layout frames is that I can apply fill color strokes and effects on them just like any other layer. So I'll add a fill color, give it a dark blue, add a stroke and round the upper corners. But what about the selection line? If I select that line and drag it into the menu, you can see that auto layout creates automatically spacing between them and treat it like the icons. But just like this menu in our example, I like this line to be up here above the home icon. So in order to do that, we can select the line layer and click on this plus icon where it says absolute positioning. That will allow us to freely position the line where we want without it affecting the other layers inside the auto layout frame. Cool, right? Now we can take this menu, position it in the frame and adjust its width to fit the frame. These are pretty much the basics, but let's see more advanced options like this UI gift card. I'll hold down option and drag one card aside. Now look, if I'll drag this card, all the layers inside are grow to fill or shrink to fit and responsive to the size. Let's recreate it step by step and take a look at what we have here. Over here at the top I have a like button on top of a GIF image. Now instead of this GIF you can choose anything you like, like GIF, images, shapes and so on. Below it we have a user avatar with name, title and description and on the right we have this follow button. One quick note about those buttons below. I created those buttons using auto layout and components. I would suggest watching last week's video about components first because that will help you understand exactly how to create them and use them today. So pause me here. And then welcome back, let's get started. Let's begin at the top. I'll select both the like button and the GIF and hit on Shift A to apply auto layout. As you can see, Figma put both layers next to each other and I like the heart icon to be on top of the GIF. So what do we do? We select the like icon and click on absolute positioning. I'll position the icon 16 pixels to the left and 16 pixels to the top. But take a look at this. If I try to resize this frame, the size doesn't change like in our example. So what we need to do is to select the GIF layer and change the width and height from fixed to fill container. 
Now, if we resize the frame, the GIF will fill in the container. You don't have to do that now. We can change this anytime, but I do want you to see how the frame behaves in each stage. Next, we have this middle row. So we need to figure out how those layers lay out next to each other. What I see here is one layer divided to three sections. User avatar, text, and follow button. I'll select both text layer and apply auto layout just on them first, because I always want them to keep eight pixels spacing between them. Now I can select the avatar and the text frame I just created and again apply auto layout so the space between the avatar and the text will always be 16 pixels. Let's slide that to 16 and align them to the middle left side. The reason I did that is because when we resize the GIF UI card, the avatar and the text should always stay put without moving and resizing. Now let's select them in the follow button and again hit on shift A to add one more auto layout. But this time when we resize the GIF UI card, we would like the follow button to stick to the right side. So I'm gonna select the frame, click on the three dots menu and change the spacing mode to space between. And now if I'll drag the frame, the follow button will always stick to the right. But we're not done yet. I'm gonna add padding to our frame because just like in our example, I like to have more spacing. So let's add 16 pixels left and right. Like I said, those buttons are created with auto layout, as you can see here. If I stretch and resize them, the text will always be in the middle. It works just like the icon menu we created in the beginning, but only with text. What we want is to apply auto layout on both the share and download buttons together. I'll add 16 pixels to the horizontal padding and I'll change the alignment to the middle left. But again, if I select the frame and drag it, the buttons stay in place. And just like in our example, I like them to fill our container. So I'll select each button and change the horizontal a width from fixed to fill container and now if I stretch them they will fill the container. Okay last thing we're almost there now it's time to apply auto layout on all three frames. To stay organized let's give each frame a name so to the first one I'll call gif frame to the middle one I'll call user frame and to the last one I'll call buttons frame. I'll select all three frames and hit on shift a to apply auto layout. I set the spacing between them to 24 pixels and the padding around them to 8 pixels, except for the bottom one, which I'll change to 24 pixels. Let's put the position into the top middle and let's add a fill color, set it to dark blue. Let's add a stroke and round the corners. Now look, if I stretch this card, everything sticks to the middle. So let's make adjustments to each frame the way we want it to behave. We want the GIF frame to fill our container when we resize the frame. So let's select it and change the width and the height to fill container. Now if we resize it, the GIF image fills the container. Cool. For the user frame, I like the width to also fill our container. So I'll select it and change the width from fixed to fill container. And I'll leave the height on fixed because I don't want it to change. And for last, we have our buttons frame. Same as before, I select the frame and only change the width from fixed to fill container. And now my friends, if I'll drag the frame, I can resize it as I like and keep the same positioning. So if I add an iPhone 13 Max frame, I can add my GIF UI card, resize it and keep the same structure so my design is completely responsive. All right, remember, there's no right or wrong way to apply auto layout in your design. You just need to figure out how you like your layers to behave. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.